Hello, and welcome back to Bossing English with Mr. F. I bet you thought I'd forgotten you, didn't you? Well, no. Life has gotten in the way of some plans to do more videos, but hopefully life will get out of the way again soon. Anyway, currently on the BBC Sounds app, or just on, well, I guess on the BBC Sounds app, because this is on Radio 4 Extra, they are repeating a brilliant series called Shakespeare's Restless World, which is presented by Neil McGregor, who I think was previously the director of the British Museum, who uses 20 objects from the Shakespearean or Elizabethan era, or Jacobean era, to uh, look at the life and times of Shakespeare and his works. Uh, and so he, he delves into the plays and, uh, you know, but sets the plays within the context through these objects. And they're masterful. They're, each episode is masterfully done. It's very reliable knowledge. Um, it's a trustworthy resource. Uh, and it'll open up some of the works that you'll be studying. Uh, I focused on Hamlet and Macbeth in terms of this little video, but there are references to other plays if you're studying them, like Coriolanus or some of the history plays as well. So... Let's get rid of that. Um, what do we have? Well, I'm not going to give you all the info because I want you to go and look, uh, check it out. But for instance, episode two, Communion and Conscience. This is useful for Hamlet. We're in that Protestantism versus Catholicism era, which is important in the play. Um, I think they reference that. I can't remember, but I would say that's essential listening. Episode eight has an amazing introduction to the distinction between the use of the as opposed to the use of you when speaking to people uh, in different social settings of different rank, that I think is very helpful. There's a reference to Laertes's cap, which is made by the king, Denmark, Claudius, I think. Um, so that's quite useful because the object of this particular episode is the cap. Um, Macbeth gets a brilliant, absolutely essential episode, number 10, Toil and Trouble, where we get reference to witches, witchcraft, James I, his book Demonology, and a storm at sea. This is just fantastic and must listen. Episode 11, very useful also for Macbeth because of the gunpowder plot. Um, I think that can be helpful as a wider context of the play James I, etc. Um, again, James I is referenced in different flags that he was trying to do with his idea of uh, a union between Scotland and England uh, in Great Britain. And we get some talk about why Macbeth isn't British propaganda as opposed to some other plays by Shakespeare. And finally, so far, there may be more. There's 20 episodes that have not all been replayed yet. Um, Macbeth gets referenced in Tomorrow and Tomorrow, and that's linked to the emergence of clocks and Elizabethan people, wealthy Elizabethan people having clocks and, and, and the social organization of time um, and, and how that manifests itself in the Tomorrow and Tomorrow soliloquy in Macbeth. I would say that's pretty important too. Anyway, all of them are useful because they'll all give you a, a background on Shakespeare, his life and times, uh, and different plays, which is all, for me, relevant, uh, AO3, whether it's A-level or GCSE. Um, but I just wanted to share that with you because I think that is very, very useful, whether you're aiming for top grades at GCSE or at A-level. That's it. That's your lot. I will be back, uh, I hope, very soon with something um, magnificent. So more felicity and on for now.